Soundtrack. Vocal warm ups, are they absolutely necessary? Quick answer yes. Now, let me give you the long answer. You may have recently heard some online chatter suggesting that vocal warm ups shouldn't be prescriptive for everyone. Now, if you're like most people, then you hear the word everyone and immediately group yourself in with everyone. But therein lies the danger. You see, it is correct to say that there is almost certainly the smallest collection of individuals whose voices, for some currently under researched reason, do not benefit from vocal warm ups. But these people are the exception to the rule. Now, anecdotally, in my studio, I can't remember a voice who hasn't benefited from the well directed vocal warm up. That's not to say these people don't exist, it's just that in my experience, these people seem to be a biological anomaly. So, yes, it is correct to say that vocal warm ups don't benefit 100% of singers, but it is equally incorrect to naively think that you fall into this incredibly small group of people. Mark my word, chances are your voice does require a considered vocal warm up before applying a vocal load for performers or practice. What I have observed is that each individual voice seems to warm up differently. Now, as a rule of thumb, the majority of voices seem to take between 10 to 15 minutes to stretch and warm. But this being said, others take less time, while a few seem to take a little longer, sometimes up to 20, 25 minutes. The only way for you to learn how long your voice needs to warm up is to regularly employ a well-designed warm up so that you can start to determine your optimal length. To help you get started, Click on this video for a properly structured vocal warm-up. I'm Dr. Dan. Sing well.